Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Sam Paganji during uh, political commentary with the correct views. Welcome to the correct views. I hope you're finding this from Opera News. Uh, more and more people are, which is good. Um, I want to say that I know people are on YouTube. I know that people likewise are on, um, I don't, almost no one's on Rumble, but Opera News has really stepped up for the show, and I want to try to get people over there, not just because they picked the show up, which is good, it's great, we'll get to that in a minute, but also, 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 there is not a censorship issue on Opera News, which is vital when you're talking about some of the things, most of the things which we uh, tend to discuss here. Also, um, the look of the show, the studio slowly coming back together. Uh, ten years, ten years I've been doing this with zero, no help at all. Even the other half of the show left uh, about four years ago. And now that there is some financial assistance coming in from, again, thank you. Thank you, Opera News. You're going to see the show getting better and better. I'm in the process of getting a better camera. I get the lights back. It's awesome. But that's not what you tuned in for. I gave you a minute to trickle in. This is uh, this is awful. Uh, Taliban militants violently disperse rare Afghan protest. Now, remember we were promised that within Islam, women were going to be respected and the rights of the citizenry was going to at least exist within the the framework of Islam. And the way that these monsters read Islam, that's like saying uh, we're going to dress modestly within the realm of Pornhub. Um, that doesn't really mean a lot. But one of the things it has meant historically is that men have the right to speak. Men have the right to be heard uh, under even the strictest form of Islam, unless, you know, they're, they're putting pink hair on a Mohammed cartoon or something. Now, it seems that dissent among men within Islam still doesn't count as what the Taliban considers fair. So... Every, not only everything that they said has been a lie, but all of the people who predicted this and told Biden that they, the Taliban were not going to stick to their, their agreement are way off here. Because not only did they not stick to their agreement, they haven't even stuck to the agreement long enough to finish taking over and undoing the supposed uh, progress that was made there. And like Donald Trump said, this is ab he said this on Fox News. This is absolutely nothing like his deal. In Donald Trump's deal, there were areas of Afghanistan that he told the leaders of the Taliban, if you come near these cities, near these areas, we will bring fury to you such as you have never seen before. He told them if you hurt any Americans, or if you harm anybody to whom the Americans are working with, in not so many words, there won't even be caves left for you to hide in. Now, does that sound to anyone listening like what Joe Biden did? Because I'm sorry, it doesn't to me. Taliban militants, according to uh, the Associated Depressed attacked protesters Wednesday in Afghanistan who dared to take down their banner and replace it with the country's flag, killing at least one person and fueling fears about how the insurgents would govern this fractious nation. And that is an interesting point in this. Even the Taliban leaders said that they hadn't really planned on victory coming this swiftly. And now that it has, they're left with how are we going to govern. And that's going to be an ongoing problem for them. The trouble is... A lot of the problems that nations find with governing, it comes in terms of a people who are willing to fight. 
in 20 years, most of the Afghan army simply did not wish to fight. Now, they didn't have the weapons and the fuels and the money. How much money have, was there for the American Revolution? Okay, we've got people who should be standing up for their country and fighting for it, fleeing to the free welfare that's given to them in Germany. They don't have the heart. And that's what's even allowing the Taliban to do this. While the Taliban have insisted that they will respect human rights, unlike during their previously draconian rule, the attack in Jalalabad came as many Afghans were hiding at home or trying to flee the country, fearful of abuses by the loosely controlled militant organization. Many people have expressed dread that the two-decade Western experiment to remake Afghanistan will not survive the insurgent, the resurgent Taliban, who took control of the country in a blitz that took just days. Taliban leaders, it goes on, talked Wednesday with senior Afghan officials about a future government and a potential complication to any effort to stabilize the country. The head of the country's central bank warned that American sanctions over the Taliban's designation as a terrorist organization threaten their economy, which is good. Which is good, 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 because they were they had like six billion dollars, and most of it now has been locked up and kept from them. Which, you know, again, when you're killing people in the street, isn't a bad idea, you know, a bad call. Usually, sanctions, you know, questionable in nature, but in this one, it's yeah, and it's pretty much a no-brainer. But the bigger point is that. We're not even a week into this, mere days into this. And already, the promises which were given from the Taliban are slowly but surely being trickled away. We're going to cover later on today about the a woman who was murdered. There will be a whole segment of the correct views dedicated specifically to that. I think this could have been a lot different if in the 20 years that we've been there, I mean... There should be a huge number of people who are willing to fight and die for their country. Why? The people said the, 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 the citizenry and the Afghan security forces and the police and their military, they didn't have the weapons they needed to fight the Taliban. I think that's, that's been disproven since we know that a lot of these weapons now have fallen into the hand of the Taliban. What were these weapons? These weapons were weapons which, were, for whatever reason, entrusted from the U.S., we gave the weapons to the Afghan military and other people who were responsible for keeping whatever form of liberty they had in their country. They didn't do it. And we know that the weapons were there because now, again, they're in the hands of the Taliban. So you can't say that the weapons weren't there. And if there were logistics, I said this yesterday, if there were logistics about fuel, if there were logistics about pay, there was 20 years to get that under control. And 20 years of our meddling has been undone in mere days. The bad thing is, the way it was done, due to our blunderer-in-chief, Mr. Biden, the way that it was done has left Americans, Afghanis who translated and helped our military and helped their people, they are stranded there and left to be slaughtered. Uh, former President Trump believes that Americans and others there who were on our side are going to be held as hostages. And I think, unfortunately, that's something we're going to see along with a rise in terrorism which I think is going to be launched from Afghanistan. They said that it would not be, but they also, again, look how much they've lied. There'll be more coming, friends. Thank you so much for listening. God bless.